from Friends Adventure, and today we are going to be making some Christmas cookies to take home to my house and feed Santa. Um, I get to decorate one cookie, but we're going to do the fun part is baking. As always, our guest is Nia, because I always have to do her YouTube videos there. And today I'm staying home from school because I have two weeks of Christmas break. Okay. So let's get started. So we're going to put our butter in the mixer and start whipping up our sugar and our butter. So I'm going to add our um, one cup. One cup of sugar. One cup of sugar, a big one cup of sugar. And what um, my nan always lets me do is she lets me, um, if there's leftover dough, she lets me eat all of the leftover dough, which is amazing. But she says, don't eat too much. It will get you a stomachache. That's right. Okay, so remember how to push this down? Yeah. Whoa, geez. Now, okay. let me plug it in. Okay. Okay. So now we are going to get whipping our butter and our sugar. Mm -hmm. So first, let's do this thing. Is it good? Yeah. Butter and sugar? Yeah. It's good. Okay. Now, yeah. So we're going to shoot. turn it down low and then we are going to add one by one the eggs. Okay, let's hope this goes in. So we need to whip the egg in and then after that egg is all whipped, we are going to add our second egg. One notch. One notch. I think okay. we can add the mm -hmm. second egg. So now we're going to add our second egg. Whip up your eggs. So now we are going to add our almonds. Just yeah, like let me put rub this it. over here, and then yeah. you can rub it across the top and make it level with the other end, with the other side. Okay, that works. Okay, so that's one cup, and then you have to put that in. Okay, and make sure it doesn't spill. Okay, okay. just gonna add mm -hmm. that into there. Then turn it on low while we mix that in. 
Why not? Yeah, that's good. And it's why I want more water. And then it's going to start ripping itself up and it's going to turn into that dough. to get the dough in our hands, put wrap it up, and then we are going to put it in our fridge. So, so right now I'm just eating the cookie dough. But guys, this is what it looks like when it's going into the fridge. It's still all the flour, but after it comes out of the fridge, and the it needs to be in the fridge for just a few minutes, but about a half hour. Yeah, so thirty yeah. minutes, and then after it's been thirty minutes, we take it out, we put it on a cutting tray, we roll it, we put some flour on the cutting tray, and we start cutting out our cookies. So roll it out. We'll be roll back. it out first. We'll be back. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to make the frosting while the cookie dough is in the fridge. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to get the butter warm. So I'm just stirring it around with my spat spatula. Mm -hmm. And then after I've got it warm, we will add the sugar and start mixing it. Yeah. So okay. we'll be back in a second, and um, uh, when we're back, we'll have the sugar in here and be ready to hand whisk it. Okay. So what we're going to use? It's my nana's new cooking thing. It is called a sifter. My nana is going to put the powdered sugar over it, and I'm going to sift it. That's going to make the frosting smooth. Even though it gets all over. When it gets to the bottom, then you go like this. Then those would be lumps, so we're going to throw those away. So now, can I just stir this? You know, what we're going to do, we're going to stir that with the, Candy. with the beater. So we have to start very slow. Oh my god. It's going to spray all it. over the blade. Just one, whoop, wait a Whoa. Just one click. <gasps> it's over here. It's just already getting all over I'll the get it ah. in and then you start. So it's going a little crazy, but not okay, too but crazy. Okay, but here's what we're going to do to make it uh, we're put a little, a little almond. softer. We are going to put just a teeny bit of almond in there. And we're going to add a little cream. And some whipping cream. I'm just yep. going to put it. So what I want you to do is... Just add a little bit of whipping cream. So pour some on, the, on your spoon. Well, oh, okay, that's good. Now, now we're going to try mixing now we're it. Now we're going to want to mix it in the cream. Okay. So I'm going to start mixing. Okay. How all the sugar gets incorporated. And we just want, we don't want to have it involved, we want to make it smooth. That's right. Not like dough. I'm getting it. Mm -hmm. So I just tried a little bit of the frosting. It was amazing. So sorry about that. The phone stopped to record it. So okay, we're just now going just to on low carefully and just try to incorporate it in there. So we're going to incorporate the, our powdered sugar again. Okay. We're not going to get it in chunks. 
We are going. Now we could add a little more uh, cream to it. So yeah, turn, I get, you, turn your beater off. Okay, we're going to turn our add, beater off, and we're just going bit more cream. to put a tiny bit more cream. That's good. In to our batter. Okay, so now. in there, then we're going to turn it there. up to one. And then we are going to incorporate the sugar inside of our batter mix. Woo! Yeah, it's turning. My hand's getting a cramp, though. Oh, here. I'll take it. Here. Here. No, it's fine. I can still do it. Okay. And that is how you make frosting. Now we turn it off. Right, turn it off. And yeah. I think I should try it just to make sure. Okay. Best frosting. So if we go on like this, we get all the sugar, because we don't want just chunks of sugar in our frosting. Here, I'm just going to add the rest of that. Don't add the rest of the cream. Okay. And I think my Nana will always, always, always let me like that. Oh, always. She always. Especially you can't when I'm have making a Christmas cookies. You can't have a beer without licking the frosting. That's right. Or anything. So what do you think? I think it's smooth. And you the how you know it's frosting is if if it has a smooth consistency and when you're whipping it it's not in balls. It it turns and it go comes smooth. So that's how you know if it is in a good consistency. So now what we're going to do is we're going to show you, cause Nana, my Nana, taught me how to be a professional cookie baker. So if you add it, you want to make sure you roll it so you don't see the cracks of where you put the, um, the dough in it. So you roll it, you take our flour, Rub it. You need to take some for your rolling pin. You need to take some for your hands. Like you're washing your hands except with flour. And then you need to take this and you can just kind of rub it. And then you take your hand and you start patting it. Then you take some of your flour, you put it, you rub it. You flip it over. Then if it doesn't have enough flour, you just add a little bit more. And then after that, you want to have it thick so you can actually pick it up with your hands. So I am going to roll, 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 and then roll, roll, roll. So after that, we are going, I think we're gonna do the snowman because the snowman failed last time. Or maybe we it didn't. <laughs> We'll do one snowman and then what are you gonna do? What else? And then I think I'm going to do um maybe a Mr. Santa Claus. We have only done one of this. Okay. Do you wanna get it just right and flip it both ways? So if Mr. Santa was asleep, now he woke up. Whoops. Here's your spatula. Yep, and then we're going to just peel it and you need to take a spatula to get it out. So it's kind of just like peel it. Okay. Uh, I think we could probably fit this Hanukkah straw. Oh, I think you're right. Yep. Oh, let's get the sharp side so you can oh, yeah. cut yourself. Okay. So we have that, and then man, that comes out easily. I can pick this easily up with my hand and put it on our cookie tray, and so can I do it with this. Okay, maybe we go roll we out can for do one, one more batch. One more cookie. One more cookie, just one. Or two small ones. Or two small ones. Like two stars. Mm -hmm. Maybe the big cr green Christmas tree. Pretty thing. Yep. So we're going to use for our last 
cookie, a big, big green Christmas tree. It's gonna fit. over in my hand. Then I'm gonna put it right there and we have all of our cookies <coughs> on our tray. <laughs> to keep to go in the oven. To go in the oven. And also these uh, we're gonna take off. Uh yes, we need to take those off to decorate them. We need to put those on to cool. We're doing everything. Bring your uh, oh, that got spatula over here. Bring this show here. It can't live anymore. <laughs> We're sorry. Bye, Joe. Okay. Now the cookies are all done. They've chilled and they're out of the oven. And I'm gonna. I already have frost too, but this is going to be my third one. I'm going to frost really quick before I have to go home. So. I'm making a Christmas tree since I love Christmas trees and setting up Christmas tree there. It's just so fun. So I love it. So what I'm doing is I'm finishing the very top. Oh my goodness, my hands are getting so messy, but it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Oh wow, wow. And I have nowhere to hold this. Right there, put it on there, and then you can put some sprinkles on it. Okay, I'm gonna put, oh my gosh. Set it down there. Oopsies. Then say goodbye to everybody. Bye. Show me your cookie. This is my unlooking weirdly cookie. Have fun watching my third vlog. <laughs>